Start, good barrel turns coming around those top pins. Hey, we got a barrel down on the, on the number two barrel, but they're running hard. He's getting out there, looking over his left shoulder. Making sure that he's out there and he's on the inside. We've got Bob Leach. Looks like he's holding his ground. He's going to keep the rail rock solid out of Vermillion. That is the advantage point on the rail. On most tracks, ladies and gentlemen, you got the short track to run on, running too wide. We have Rick Malthouse out of Saskatchewan. Stuart Realty out of Vermillion throwing his lines. He's up there by about a horse length running too wide. As they go into that third corner, back in third, we have the Brian Linuff team with Carland Services at a white court. As they go down in that third corner, look at Brian coming up around the outside, heading to that fourth corner. We're going to have another real close chuck wagon race as they come out of the fourth corner down the home stretch drive. Out in the lead, it does look like we do have Rick Holthouse with Stuart Realty running the line, heading for the finish. Good job, Rick Holthouse, Stuart Realty out of Vermillion. Bob Leach with Rock Solid, another great Vermillion sponsor on the inside. Here we are, heat number three. Turned on one, Burt Mueller on two, Kyle Monoello on three. Great start, we're looking all to that top barrel, getting around quick, hitting for the track. Looks like we're going to have three laps. Once again, as we're heading into that first corner, Kyle Motorola is looking all up the line, he's going to try to go down to the rail, not sure if he's got enough speed to do it. He's stuck out there on three wide, but looks like we got Garnet Bankston, all wheel wash of the million, running on the inside. And we got Burt Mueller running up the middle with Hudson Bay on the Dick Transport on the Hudson Bay. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? You bet. Push hard for them. The louder you cheer, the faster they're going to get around here. All right, on the outside, we do have Kyle Monroe came off that number three barrel, was looking to take the rail, didn't quite have enough juice to do it. And that's Ireland Farm Equipment out of Vermillion. They now are coming into that fourth and final corner and hitting down the home stretch drive. Once again, we've got Garnet Banks in, all wheel wash here out of Vermillion, running hard, throwing some wide. Out on the outside, running two wide, though. We've got the Burt Mueller team. You got Dick Trucking out of Hudson Bay, Saskatchewan. Kyle Monowell, Ireland Farm Equipment, had to take the long roundabout route there in three wide, and it does make a long bit of difference out there. To go to girl number three, Albert Buckingham, VR Echoes out of a million. Hot Bob driving for Bob Leach doing the driving for Albert had a little mishap after the chariots yesterday, just uh, the horse gave him a kick there and he's unable to drive for these days, he's got to take it easy, so he got uh, a little kick in the chest and a little kick, a two, a two footer, so he's going to be alright though. And Wayne Hardstaff will be coming in here going to barrel number one with Hobblestone Plastics and a Blackfoot. They are lining up nice and tight here for heat number four as they move in. Brent Dubuque to take the tire on three. Albert Buckingham team Bob Leach doing the driver. Driver being our Eccles of the Vermillion. And Wayne Hardstaff, Hobblestone Classics on one. Okay, I'll get the sounds good start, boy. They're all heading up, going around their top barrels. Good shot. Barrel turns. Look at this on barrel three. He's heading for the track there with Bob Leach on there with Albert Buckingham. Three wide once again with the Wayne Hardstaff team, Hobbleson Plastics, running down on the rail. He's back in third place, but he's got a good, strong finishing outfit. Usually he's going to run hard, chase him to the finish line. But out in the lead, we do have the Albert Buckingham team with BR Echoes running just about a wagon length out in the lead. And Brett Dubuque is nothing to mess with. He's running too wide. He's going high and wide, going too wide around into that third corner. And you got Brent Holty out there watching him close. They're all running nice and close. They're looking at him. Brett Dubuque running up there, gaining some ground, running too wide with the Integra Tire out of Vermillion. And close here, coming on the inside, you will see the Wayne Hardstaff team with Hobblestone Plastics out of Blackfoot. He's thrown the line. Here you are, ladies and gentlemen, the Brett Dubuque team. The Vermillion Credit Union finish line first by about a half a wagon length. In second, the ball by uh, Albert Buckingham team be in our action. Wade Solomon will be on barrel number one with Vermillion Concrete. Just going to barrel five. Keep on trucking that Lloyd Minister will be turning around coming in first. Alright, corner barrel number two is the Jim Lang outfit with more oil pail services out of Cedric. He's getting ready, boy, he's got a great 
good looking team of bays that he's put together. Always a tough competitor out there. He was a Cedric uh, race meet champion over there on the July 1st weekend. And Wade Solomon, the second fastest time of the night last night, he's been a many time champion here, him or his dad, in the Vermilion Fair. Doing a great job wherever they're at. They're looking to win a show if they can do it. That's the Vermilion Concrete sponsored outfit. Gonna be on barrel number one. We got Mike Cook, keep on trucking on three. Jim Wang, Laura Oldfield Services on two. And Wade Solomon with Vermilion Concrete going to the number one barrel. And you're gonna see some fast barrel teams get strong running outfits. There they go, good start. They're looking up, going around, high and wide around the top side. As they hit through the track, we do have three wide as they go around there. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning. As they head into that first corner, we do have the Wayne Solomon team with Vermilion Concrete. He's looking to make out there, trying to set a track record for you here tonight. And running too wide, we do have the Jim Land team with Lower Oilfield services all the way up to Cedric. And as they run down the back stretch, they're chasing the leader. And Mike Cook running up there, going to end up being three wide. And uh, keep on trucking at Lloyd. He's got to keep on trucking, going up and around. Three wide, going in to the third corner. But out in the lead by about two wagon lengths. We've got the Wade Solomon team with Vermilion Concrete. As they head into the fourth and final turn, coming looking for that home stretch drive. But they're chasing him. They're coming hard. As they head around, we got the Jim Lang team with Laura Oil Peel Services out of Cedric. And Mike Cook is coming up around the outside. He's coming hard for the finish line. There we go. Keep on trucking. Race. Once again, they were proud of the leader, Wade Solomon, with Pavilion Concrete. A good close race once again. He's had a very strong year this year for the while he was running a couple of chuck wagons and it takes its toll. He's put together one great chuck wagon outfit. Keep on trucking down to Lloyd Minister. Mike Cook had a great run. There you go, Beaker, Jim Lang. He's out there with three. Jim O'Connor, the luck of the Irish, is right out here. He's got that blue and green wagon and a nice fancy harness, good looking outfit. And he's going to barrel too with Bob Dale Oilfield Construction out of Great Valley. And going to barrel number one is the young Denver Leach, Top Management Network out of Breaker Bell. And each family raising many of the truck wagon horses on the track here. You see today, we've been to the great breeding program. Lots and lots of good horses that uh, people have purchased from the Leach family, Leach Racing Team to get on their outfits and they're doing very well. The government turned around going to be a web machinery in business for the past 83 years. Three generations of uh, families there in the web machinery. We'd like to thank Scott Webb for looking at the wing. Jim O'Connor, Bob Dale Oilfield on two and Denver Leach for crop management network on the number one girl. Eight six. Well, it sounds there. Start to Doug Mills doing a great job. Look at the tight barrel turns as they come around once again. They're heading out there. Pretty wide. As they get out there on the outside, we've got Jim Carter looking over his left shoulder. Looking like he wants to take the rail. Looks like he's done a great job. Coming off that number two barrel, Bob Dale Oil Field Construction of the Great Valley. He's out there in the lead. He's running about two lengths out the lead right now. Big strong running out there. As he gets out there, we're going out on the outside. We do have uh, Green Dubuque out with Webb's Machinery. He's running too wide out there. He's looking to have to go three wide as he gathers up. We've got Denver Leach, top management that we're coming off that number one barrel. He's running tough on the inside. And we're going to see if they can catch him up here on the fourth corner as they turn and come for the home stretch drive. Once again, we've got Jim O'Connor with Bob Dale Oil Field Construction out of Drayton Valley. He's had a great barrel turn coming off of that barrel and heading down to the home stretch, first across the line is Bob Dale. Second is a very close finish between Webb's Machinery with Wayne Dubuque doing the driving and Denver Leach, Prop Management Network 